Hello, this is Anton over at thehyperadvisor.com. Um, with this video, I want to get into compiling CloudStack 4.2. Um, there may be a few people that want to do this. It's actually sometimes can be a pain in the you know what, uh, depending on what system you're on and and what you have installed. But I'm going to start from a basically a fresh machine here uh, this is CentOS 6.4 the minimum install and I'm gonna go to the process from beginning to end of what I do in order to uh, be able to compile at least uh, somewhat consistently um, cloud stack and probably more specific to 4.2 because things do change um, so I can get the RPMs uh, which at the time of this recording are not available on the site even though they, um, the release is, is ready so the source is there out, out on uh, github. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, SSH into the environment or the, the system I'm going to use for doing the compilations and I'm going to run a yum update on it uh, to make sure I have all the latest packages. Now this will take a while so I'll probably go ahead and speed through this piece and move on to the next part. Okay so the update has completed and before I reboot this system there are a few more things that I'm going to install. Um, take note I will have this in a blog post so if you don't get everything that I'm doing here um, I'll have a link to the blog post so that you can get the, you know, the, the written steps for doing this. I have jotted them down because there's nowhere I can remember um, all of this stuff as well. Um, so next I'm going to go ahead and install the development tools. And again, just for the sake of keeping this video small, um, once that's done I'll come back uh, to the next step. All right, so the development tools have been installed, and <clears throat> I have a, another set of packages that I'm going to go ahead and run through here. All of these may not be required per se, uh, just for uh, the cloud stack piece, but uh, this combination works fairly consistently for me, so I go ahead and include everything here. And again, I'll have this stuff in the blog post. So I will fast forward and we will get back to the next step in a minute. <clears throat> Alright, so those packages have been installed and pretty much lastly, as far as the install of packages go, I know that's, that I installed a lot of packages from the minimum install, uh, we need to install Maven. I'm going to go ahead and get Maven. Uh, you may notice that this is an older version of Maven. Now I've tried some of the latest version 3.1 and others uh, but this is what works so I'm going to go ahead and stick with this go ahead and download this and we will um, tar it and unzip it to uh, user.local so we'll change directory here local and <clears throat> let's unpack that thing in this directory okay so once we do that the next step um, I'm going to update the profile dot d and create a maven dot sh in here uh, I'm gonna cop put in a few lines here. Let me that's really what I want here. Mm, 
making sure I got everything in here. And now we'll just go ahead and reboot. So, so far all we did was install a bunch of packages that we're going to need to uh, to do the com compiling of the uh, source files. Um, rebooting the system just to make sure I saw a couple kernel packages and everything so that we're, we're sure everything is updated. And once we log back in, and this is a virtual machine that I'm using so it's pretty quick to restart. <clears throat> Let's test the Maven's working. Alright, so Maven is working there. Next I'll go ahead and set up the environment for the Java home and just do that. Go Java underscore home. Okay, so we're set there. Now the next piece we're gonna have to download the source from GitHub for CloudStack. So if we go to the web page here for CloudStack, this is the, the master location on the main page for CloudStack. We need to change the branch to 4.2. Um, you can do other branches, but this process is specific for 4.2 and what I know that works. And pretty much go to the lower right hand corner and what we want to do is after we've made that change we want to download the zip file um, so that's going to go ahead and download and we're going to unpack the download when that's done alright so now that that's done I've already unpacked the folder and what we're going to do here is um, SCP that that folder over to the system that I'm using to do the compile and I'm uh, sending it to the root directory here Go ahead and run that uh, type in the right password Hopefully, yeah, cat locks on. Cat locks. Cat locks will kill you. All right, so that's done. Uh, we should be able to go ahead and see that directory now, and it is right here. Um, next step basically is to go ahead and change it to the directory you want to go into packing and CentOS I know it says 6.3 uh, but that's okay and once we're in this directory um, all we have to do you'll see there are some uh, script file in here package.sh we'll go ahead and run that Now this script is going to take a long time, um, so you, depending on your system, you might as well just kind of kick back or go grab some coffee or a snack. And once it's done, um, I'll come back to this and, and show you what the output should look like. But we can see so far that it is on 4.2 and it's starting to download all the files that it's going to need then it'll start um, compiling everything and doing some tests so I'll come back once this is done and have a good break uh, because this is going to take a while alright so after some time we can see that the process is finished and it has written these RPMs and to this directory so if we go ahead and browse to this directory we can go ahead and check out 
the RPMs that were created. So if we want to actually run these, um, we can either do a create repo, so, uh, so then you can put it on a web server and, and use it in your, uh, your a repo file, a dot repo file, like I've shown in a couple of other posts. Or you can actually run it uh, local using, uh, using yum, uh, local install, or uh, local upgrade. Uh, so that's it for this video. Um, if you follow this process, you'll be able to create these on your own. Hopefully pretty soon, uh, the CloudStack webpage will have the RPMs posted up there. So you can just create the repository like, you've, like we've done before with 4.1.1 and just run the in installation using the YUM process and, and not having to build the RPMs on your own from source. Uh, that's it. If you like the video, um, don't forget to subscribe. You can follow me on on Twitter at the uh, the Hyper Advisor, and also check out the website, the blog, thehyperadvisor.com. Bye.